rabbits. Today I'm going to read this story, Harry McClary Scattercat. So I know how much you like Harry McClary stories. Harry McClary felt bumptious and bustly, bossy and bouncy and frisky and hustly. He wanted to run, he wanted to race, but the main thing he wanted was something to chase. I wonder what he'll find. Grey Whack Jones was hunting a bee, but along came Harry McClary and chased her up high in the sycamore tree. Butterball Brown was washing a paw. But along came Harry McClary and bustled him under the rickety door. Pimpernel Pew was patting a ball. But along came Harry McClary. I wonder where he's going to chase poor Pimpernel and chased her away over Pemberton's wall. Slinky Malinky was down in the reeds, but along came Harry McClary and hustled him into a drum full of weeds. Not sure Harry McClary's making good choices. Mushroom McGee was asleep on the ledge. But along came Harry McClary. There he is, going to pounce on her. And chased her away through a hole in the hedge. Down on the path by the old wooden rail, twitching a bit, was the tip of a tail. With a bellicose bark and a boisterous bounce, Harry McClary was ready to pounce. But around came Scarface and Claw, who bothered and bustled and rustled and hustled him, chased him and raced him. All the way. Home. That's the end. I'm not sure. I think Harry McClary may have deserved that chasing at the end. What do you think?